You're on. All right. Hola, clase. ¿Cómo están ustedes? Um, les echo de menos. I miss you a lot. This is for Spanish 1. I hope everybody's safe and happy and wash those hands. Lava las manos, por favor. Um, okay, so this week we're going to be working on Unidad 4, Lección 2, and we're going to um, work with the vocabulary, some of the verbs, and some more stem changers. Very easy stuff. I will be posting assignments. If you don't have access to your book, I'm going to scan uh, the pages so that you can work from home and just send me a photo of your work, okay? All right, so let's go through some of the verbs. Um, the vocab list, pretty self-evident. Look for the page on my site, on the Google Classroom. Um, there, there is very simple. Ustedes recuerdan that there just means to see. And he's a very normal ER verb. The only thing he does strange is the yo form. So if I look at him, he's very, very normal, except for the yo form. I can't really give you a reason, but we've talked about this before. Um, now, for there, uh, you can talk about seeing things or seeing people. The only thing to remember, let's go through those first, though, before I get to that. Uh, for, um, so repeat after me at home. Here we go. Veo, ves, ve, vemos, veis, ven. Okay. Um, now, when you talk about using ver, you're going to use ver to talk about either things or people that you see. So, for example, I could say, veo el autobús. I see the bus. Um, but if I see my friend... Veo a Maria, I need to throw in this little personal a. Ah. Um, and remember, that's only going to happen with people. Very easy. Um, and that's pretty much all we need to remember with ver. We need to know its forms and how we use it to talk about seeing things or people. Okay? All right. Next one. I'm going to thank Mr. Yetman, who is filming me. Okay. Um, our next verb, so we've done there, let's talk about ear. And you probably remember ear means to go. Okay, so let's go through them. Repeat after me. Voy, vas, va, vamos, vais, va. Okay, so ear, very wonderful, useful verb, lets you talk about things that are going to happen in the near future. So you can talk about places that you're going to go or activities that you're going to do. Okay, and for each of these, you follow a simple formula. You use the right form of ear, the word a, ah, and then whatever you need, like let's do the place. So we'll do ear a ah, plus a place. With ear a ah, plus a place, remember that you might have to combine the a ah and the l into al. So, for example, voy a la playa, which literally means I'm going to the beach. We all know this, right? But let's say that I'm going, let's say that I'm going to the market, right? The market is el mercado. So I can't say voy a el mercado. That sounds a little strange and it's harder to say. So just remember that you would combine these two into al. And that only happens with a and l. Okay, so that's when you have ir a plus a place. And you might have that al that you have to put in. This only happens if the name of your place is a masculine singular thing. Um, if I was going to the markets, I would simply say, voy a los mercados. So I would make that plural. I only have to do this all when that word is masculine and singular. Okay? All right. I'm sure you remember that. All right. Another way to use ear is ear a plus an infinitive verb. Now remember, an infinitive verb is a verb that hasn't been touched. It hasn't been matched with the subject. It's just 
you know, in its original form. Um, okay, so that talks about an activity that you want to do. So let's talk about that voy a la playa, right? So if I say voy a la playa, what might I do at the playa? I might swim, right? So voy a nadar. Okay, so same thing. All I have to do is use the right form of ear, a, and then the infinitive verb. So it's saying, I am going to swim. I haven't done any of these things. Remember that when we talk about ear, this is sort of about talking about the future. It's called the simple future because none of this stuff has happened yet, but it's gonna happen soon, okay? All right, so that's pretty much it with ear. Um, that's a review because we've done that before. And then finally, we're gonna talk about one more topic And so we talked about that one. Now let's talk about our stem changers. Before you left for break, we just learned stem changers that went from E to IE. Um, and so now we're gonna continue. And in this lesson in 4.2, they're gonna have um, other verbs that go to O to UE or E to I, but it's the same basic principle. Remember, these are verbos de la bota. There are our boot verbs that we're using, okay? All right, so I'm just going to give you an example of each one. Almorzar means to eat lunch, and this little guy, the O, goes to a UE. So if I put it in my little boot form, my ugly little boot, then I will Sorry, excuse me. Okay, so in you, as you know, inside the boot, that's where that stem change is gonna happen. This one, the O goes to a UE. So it'll say, repeat after me, I'm where so? Almuerzas, almuerza, almorzamos, almorzáis, and almuerzan. So when you have, there's going to be a list in the vocab list, quite a few verbs that go from, a, a list of verbs in our vocab list. A lot of them go from O to U, E. And uh, this is just an example. All right. And then on page 228, we have an explanation of how to do E to I. These are also on your vocab list on page 237. Now, uh, the most common verbs that are stem changers are E to I, E, which we've already learned. This is the second most common, and now the third most common would be E to I. That would be something like pedir. Pedir goes E to I. So this little guy's gonna change. So once again, the chancla que tenemos, Pretty easy. All right, so I'm gonna go back and I'm going to put in that change. I'm going to do that E to I change. Please repeat, pido, pides, pide, Pedimos, pedis, and pide. Okay, so the work that is going to be listed on Google Classroom, you're going to be using their ear, your vocabulary from 4.2, and also these stem changer verbs. Don't hesitate to send me a, an email um, if you have any questions or problems, okay? Take good care of yourself and lava las manos, okay, please? And hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.